I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the Sailflow Eco Worthy Bilge Pump. Um, this is a really basic, really durable little 12 volt bilge pump. Uh, it's designed for use in boating, but there's a lot of different things people use this for, and I can get into more detail on that in a little bit. But basically, it's a, a small pump. Um, this one is from Eco Worthy, but again, you know, these are sold. This is sort of a generic product, almost. These are sold <coughs> uh, under a lot of different white label names and brand names. Um, and, you know, again, it's just a really durable, really solid, small 12 volt pump. Um, and a couple of stats about this. Uh, so it draws three amps in theory. Um, in practice, I found it's actually a good deal higher, especially when it first starts up. So if you are gonna use this, um, make sure you do have a you know, good enough battery capacity, or if you're powering it from a power supply, I found about a 12 amp, uh, uh, 12 volts, 12 amp, or 10 amp rather, um, uh, power supply was good to power this, especially at startup. Otherwise, it has a tendency to start and uh, kind of stop as it goes. Um, it has a 13 foot head, so that means that it can actually lift water and prime itself all the way up to 13 feet. So it'll lift water 13 feet in the air, which is again important for a couple different applications, definitely for bilge pump, but for many other things. Um, the out, outflow uh, hose here, it's not threaded, it's just uh, a barb, but it's a 29 millimeter internal diameter on here. Um, and it has this little strainer on the bottom to prevent uh, debris from clogging it. You can remove this and easily wash it out. Um, and I found I've used these, you know, this one in particular, and also different variations on this for all kinds of different projects over the years. Um, and you know, they're, they're built like little tanks. You'd be amazed by how much pressure this can actually produce. And again, 1,100 gallons per hour. That's a substantial amount of water that you're moving for a device that's usually costs, you can usually get this um, on Amazon for 20 bucks. If you buy it in a boat store, of course, double the price on that or, uh, or more. But um, it's a uh, you know, really helpful little device. Um, so what are some actual applications for this? Um, one of them is obviously is a bilge pump. Uh, so it has some boat friendly features. It's got these nice corrosion sealed uh, kinds of uh, wires there. Um, it also has ignition protection in theory. So if you run it in your bilge and there's any kind of gas vapors that are built up, this shouldn't create a spark that would ignite those. Um, so that's obviously a really important feature. Obviously run your blower or open and air out your bilge anyway before you start, but uh, you know, in theory, it's a little bit safer. Um, and, uh, you know, again, that 13 foot head is really great. And I've used these um, in you know, small boats, in uh, row boats even, you can set it up if you have a little, um, you know, electric boat or something like that. It's great for preventing you from having to constantly bail a thing out. You can hook this up to a battery, run a hose overboard, uh, really simple type of setup. And you can get a through hole kit for this too and an actual plumbing hose so you can run this up and through a through hole for a somewhat larger boat. Um, so great as a bilge pump. Then people also use these for any project really where you need to be moving water. So I've seen it used for um, a uh, fountain pump. Uh, one great thing with it is that it won't burn out if you run it dry. So unlike a lot of fountain pumps, you know, if the water in your fountain evaporates or you go on vacation or something, then uh, this won't run dry. Uh, you know, it can, it can run dry and it won't uh, burn out over time. Um, it also, I find it works great. I've used it to help to um, get water out of a basement. So if you have a flooded basement or your sump pump fails, you can drop this in your sump. And again, with a 13 foot head, it actually has enough power to raise water up and out of your basement and you can dump it outside. Um, so a great little backup bilge pump or for cleaning up a, uh, you know, a bigger kind of issue. And what I do with that, it's got an input on the bottom here. You can hook a hose up to it, put it on the ground, connect it up to a battery or a 12 volt power supply and then just stand on it and it keeps it in place. It'll kind of torque itself around and move around if you just drop it in the water. But it's fully submersible too, so the whole thing can be in the water if it's a very deep water or if you're putting this inside of a, uh, a pond, you do use it as a pond pump. Um, and then kind of experimental uses for it. I've seen people use this for anything where you're doing fluid transfer for art projects and that kind of thing. Um, what I'm looking at using it for is my condensation recapturing system, recycling system. So I'm going to use this to pump water that comes out of my uh, condensation drain for my home air conditioner and use it to help either water my garden automatically through dripper hoses or refill my backyard fountain. Um, so again, you know, less than $20, super solid, um, built like a tank, submersible, 
ignition protected, 1100 gallons per hour, decent draw, not really three amps, I'd say more like 10 amps at startup, um, but uh, you know, really capable, really cheap little bilge pump, and uh, you know, also just a 12 volt pump for any kind of any kind of project you're working on. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.